What's up guys, that really gross guy here, and we are back with Warframe. Uh, I'm getting over my sickness, if you guys don't know I'm a little sick, so uh, I'm going to try and keep this pretty quick. But, uh, we got some new stuff in game today. Um, actually, this is going up the next day, so we just got some stuff yesterday, uh, sometime in the afternoon. But, uh, they're pretty interesting in my opinion. So, we do have some new attachments, we have a new uh, rapier weapon, and I believe we have, uh, we had something else. We had something else. Let me, uh, let me check that out here in just a moment. But, uh, right off the bat, oh, Cyandana, Cyandana. So the attachments and the Cyandana as well. So here we go. So attachments. We have the Nadina, uh, uh, attachment set, which are kind of cool. I, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about these yet. I want to throw them on a bunch of different, uh, frames to see how I feel about them. I do like the kind of curvy agile feel that they kind of give off and I do like the little dangly bit at least on the uh, on the shoulder pieces so I'm excited about that. Um, but then you get them down here on the legs as well and the little curvy bits keep that kind of agile look and you can see this one on his left leg has like an, an extra little piece uh, right up on his thigh and I think that's fairly cool so uh, and then the chest piece. I'm not too crazy about the chest piece uh, it kind of matches the the design, but I probably would either. I like a lot of uh, a lot of my Warframe's chest to stay bare. I feel like they have a good look, or to have just a small piece to kind of accent whatever look it has. But if you're running with the with the agile look, I suppose you can keep that in there and make it look pretty nice. But um, I will run through some colors real quick uh, after after I get everything done. Uh, but here we have the Cyandana. And the Cyandana is called the Broca Cyandana. And I actually really, really like this one. Now, I feel like it's, uh, the way it's colored is, you know, a little bit, a little bit strange. You can kind of see big sections that you can tell which ones are going to be colored which way. Um, so let's, uh, let's get into, let's actually copy the main colors at the moment. And this is where I was kind of confused. Um, is is which which ones of these get colored uh this first one is going to accent all the metallic parts and the very middle and the very very lower edge of the cyandana um i personally if i was going to do a color scheme on this ash with this white and red i would probably color that and let's see uh i don't think i want to color this one i kind of like that one white and then maybe this one down here yeah, maybe. I'm not too sure. Maybe I'd just leave it like that. Maybe I'd add that as well. I don't really like the red touching the other red, but that's probably how I would color it personally. But um, if we were to randomize it, uh, we can get quite a few different colorations. Um, but I don't want to spend too much time on this, so let's move on to the attachments and what the attachments might look like. So we'll go back. And then we'll scroll through a couple random colors. And uh, I don't know. I don't know. You guys uh, you guys can judge how you feel about how these might look on your frames. Um, obviously, you want to go through a certain color scheme. So you'd want to attach it to that frame first before you decide which colors you actually want. <coughs> uh, excuse me. Uh, and then lastly is the Endura which is a pretty awesome rapier. Now, I really like the way this looks. Um, I think I think this might replace my Destreza. I'm not too sure. I want to work this onto a, a frame that I I feel like this this aesthetic looks good with. But uh, we'll go through some we'll go we'll go and copy the ra or the, the warframe colors real quick and uh, I kind of like that. Um, it's a little too bright, so I might have to turn that down a little bit. Maybe add some of the grays into it uh, to kind of lighten up this tone. But there's that. And we'll go through some random colors while I talk about the stats just a little bit. Now, the one downfall about this uh, this Endura is it has a pretty significantly low crit chance. Uh, compared to the Destreza, which uh, the Destreza has 20 crit chance, this one only has 5, which is unfortunate. It also does have a slightly lower attack speed, uh, with the Destrezas at 1.0 and this one at 9.17, so around 9.2. Uh, 
and uh, it's a, that's a little bit unfortunate, but the damage uh, across all three uh, stats is going to be higher. So uh, I will show you the stat difference here uh, right now. So we're going to go up and run up to the Destreza. So there you have it, attack speed, there's that. Uh, you are going to be losing out on all of these. Uh, going down to the Destreza, you're going to have a significantly higher stat chance with your uh, Endura, which is nice if you want to run a stat Rapier. And then Impact uh, is going to be 2.9 higher. Puncture is going to be 2.7 higher. And Slash is going to be whew, quite a bit higher. This is about, about 14. Uh, sorry, I, I, I could probably do the math. But anyway, uh, let's see. <coughs> sorry about the coughing. Like I said, I'm still, get, still getting over my sickness. Um, but yeah, I'm excited about that. A cool new weapon, cool new uh, aesthetics, and I'm kind of excited. So uh, that's going to do it for pretty much the Warframe content. I do want to mention real quick, I chose to kind of debut, well, not debut, but show off Atlas. Or not, oh my gosh, I can't think. Ash Prime, because Ash Prime is going in the vault. So farm up the relics for Ash uh, as soon as possible so that before he goes away, you'll have some parts for him. And if you don't have him now, uh, now is a good time to get him before his prices in the trade chat go up and the relics disappear. So be sure to get Ash Prime if you do not have him because Ash Prime is awesome. Very, very good. Uh, and then lastly, um, non-Warframe related, is the new Keystone game by Digital Extremes. I am, uh, I have signed up for it. Um, those games intrigue me. However, I do not spend a lot of times in a lot of the PvP type games. Um, as much as I, I do find Overwatch and, you know, even Call of Duty back in the days to be pretty fun, I, I don't spend a ton of time in them. But I do want to give... Uh, Keystone a try, which is going to be very interesting. I'll have a picture up of the uh, of of what the what the one picture we have for this game is. And like I said, it's made by Digital Extreme, so I do want to check it out. I do think they're a great company, and um, I'm not I'm not paid to say that. They have not asked me to say that. Um, I have not even gotten an email about the new game. So quite literally, this is 100% information that I have been told that DE is making this game and I am looking forward to giving it a shot. If you guys want to as well um, I would love to see you in game maybe run some games together um, it is not in alpha yet but when it does then uh, I will be giving it a shot you can see it on the channel so um, it is free to play so like I said it's there's there's no harm really in, in trying it at least so uh, yeah thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed and until next time Blau.